to my first makeup review ever. Um, I'm going to probably talk loads of rubbish, not make any sense, but I just really want to get down to do this, so I hope that you do understand a little bit and get a lot out of it. Um, I'm totally unprepared, my room is a complete mess, which you could probably kind of see in the background, um, but I've kind of like hidden it all and moved the camera around so you don't see any of it. Um, the first um, product that I'm going to be reviewing, yay, making history, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Um, and I've got the colour in 1C1 Shell. Usually when it comes to foundation, I will go online and pick the lightest colour they have because I'm the lightest colour ever. However, with this foundation, I actually went to Debenhams and got colour matched because usually I will order a foundation and it's totally not my colour because I was lazy in picking it and buying it online. So I suggest not to do that to anybody. Um, my favourite thing about this foundation is its coverage. I need a full coverage foundation or I prefer a full coverage foundation because I have a lot of freckles on my face, um, especially in summer, you know, they just like appear out of nowhere. Um, I've got a lot of redness and quite a few spots on my forehead from time to time. So this foundation really, really, really does cover every single thing on my face. Um, I apply this foundation with a sponge. Now I know a lot of people out there like to use a brush. With me, I feel like a sponge, you can kind of just keep building that coverage until you're happy with it. You could even cake it on if you wanted to, but I don't suggest you do that because you'd look quite silly. But if you wanted to, you could. Because um, I have really dry skin on my forehead, um, a brush tends to kind of irritate that dry skin and just kind of swish it about and it will end up peeling and I'm, I look a mess, completely a mess. But with a sponge I can just kind of flatten that dry skin down and wait till I get home to moisturise. So I really do like using a sponge um, even though it does attract a lot more dirt. Um, it does actually say that it's lightweight. Um, which is really, really rare for a heavy coverage foundation because you'd expect it to be pretty heavy. However, I don't hardly feel it on my skin. I actually feel my moisturiser more than my foundation, which, you know, is is a, a good thing. Um, now, it, it says it lasts up to 15 hours. Now, I went to work yesterday for the first time wearing it, and I had about a six-hour shift, but I had it on for about nine hours. And even after about nine hours, the foundation was still there, and it really kept hold of my blusher, because a lot of the time the blusher tends to fade, but it really locked the colour of my blusher in. Um, obviously, throughout the day, you'll probably just have to patch up a few areas. I'm not a fan of doing that, because I'm really lazy, and I can't be bothered to spend my break touching up my foundation because yes, I'm lazy. I sound really lazy, and I can't stop saying lazy. Anyway, um, let's see. It won't smudge or come off on clothes. Now my boyfriend is so irritated by the amount of hugs I give him, and my foundation ends up on his on his face, on his clothes. Like recently, I went to a formal event where like all the ladies were in pretty little dresses, and and the guys were in suits. And one of the guys, you know, came came and greeted me, gave me a hug, and my foundation ended up on his suit and it was quite embarrassing even though he didn't notice nobody noticed except me but um, I really didn't want to say yeah my face is on your suit uh, sorry but I didn't and I kind of left it and then later on I was like oh what's that on your suit sorry my computer's just so yeah with this foundation it's, it tends to stick to your skin a lot more rather than your clothes which is really good I hugged my boyfriend yesterday, he was like, this is random, I was like, can I hug? Only like just to try the foundation out. And um, it's a lot less um, transferable than some foundations. It does transfer slightly, but I mean, it was after my nine hour shift, six hour shift, sorry, but nine hours after wearing it. And only a slight of it came off with the oil in my skin. Um, I do feel a lot safer. Sometimes if I touch my face it ends up on my hands and if I've got a piece of paper that, that paper will go orange. Um, with this you can hardly notice it so it's really really good. Um, I just love this foundation so much. Like you know it's oil free which is really good. Fragrance free. It does kind of smell a little bit but I mean it could smell worse. It could be like really perfumed and ugh, icky. Um, I do love it, love it, love it. Um, it's one of the best foundations that I've ever used because I've used su things such as NARS, I've used things as Clinique and MAC and I think it actually like 
stands out from all of those. It's for all skin types, which is really good, so there's no fuss in saying, oh, I can't wear it because I've got dry skin or oily skin. This really does, well, it really is an all-rounder, so I really, really recommend it. Now, I bought it for, I think, £25. Um, I don't know how long the bottles last. Um, I do wear it quite a lot, like a few times in the week, and it's lasted me quite a while, and the bottle's still pretty much full. Um, the bottle's really pretty as well, it looks really fancy, um, so it looks really nice on my shelf. I'm really excited about this foundation. Now the SPF in the foundation does actually help. When I go on holiday, I will not be seen without makeup, even if I'm around the pool. Um, before applying my, my foundation, I'll stick on some sunscreen. Then I apply the foundation and my freckles do not come out at all and I'm happy because I hate my freckles, especially in the summer. Um, I don't really know what else to say apart from I love it and so should you. If you've got any comments, please comment. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask because I probably have missed a lot out. Um, if you've got any problems with colour matching or the way it feels, please ask, please ask. Um, I'm going to try and find some websites that sell it on the cheap, just so that if you don't want to kind of waste your money and it doesn't work, then you could probably get it a little bit cheaper. Do check out eBay though, because I know that they're pretty good then, but make sure it's real. I'm talking rubbish, I'm going to stop now. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Thanks guys.